Assalamualaikum. It's Thursday, 4th May. We hope you're having a great morning. We have stories and conversations for you in the next 15 minutes. Let's get started with today's headlines. Automatic lane barrier issues memorandum has been submitted to Rector. Students having financial difficulties with the delayed debit card disbursement. Student Representative Council has submitted automatic lane barrier memorandum to the Rector Office last Friday. The memorandum consists of critics from IIUM communities, suggestion and recommendation due to unsystematic of ALB implementation. A series of movements conducted by SRC such as flash mob, town hall, interview and Google survey form. The memorandum received 1,151 responses from IIUM community including student, staff and public. Among the problems raised were the unclear SOP, massive traffic congestion and improper implementation of dry run. The majority of the, uh, the IIUM community that, including, uh, that include uh, students, uh, public, staff, and so on. Uh, so the result, uh, the outcome is 64% are uh, not uh, agree with this implementation of ALB. The massive traffic jam occurred many times for one week during early April after the sudden notice released by Office of Security and Management. In regards to the issue, the ALB system had been postponed until 6 May 2017. Final examination is just around the corner, but a lot of IIUM students still have not received one Malaysia student debit card. The unsystematic disbursement process of the card causes dissatisfaction among the students. Nishan Ali has the news. The debit card is continuations of the book's voucher. The card provides 250 ringgit that can help students to buy their needs. But towards the end of the semester, students are still waiting for confirmations from Bank Rakyat. Students must also make a call to the bank themselves instead of getting the university to process it. For now, their only uh, method of solving this is to contact the hotline given, which is actually flooded by a lot of students who are actually calling. So we are still waiting a response from KPT themselves and also Bank Rakyat to release the official statement. Some students are hoping that the disbursements of the debit card can be carefully planned. We have to use the money from the card to buy our stationery or book. And we are at the final of the semester and still we have to use our own money to buy the uh, stationery and books itself. One Malaysian student debit cards are given for free to university students in reducing their daily cost of living. However, the delayed disbursement have stopped them to get basic necessity such as books and stationery. Many students hope that the authority who in charge this matter can find out solutions and overcome this issue. Nisrin Khalida Ali reporting for Now News Network. Section close. This is what students of IIUM been facing during pre-registration for every semester. Sections that are available for every subject provided are limited, especially during short semester. However, this repeating problem has not been answered properly by any party. The Center for Languages and Pre-University Academic Development, CELPAT, has done their best to resolve this matter. As usual, students having a hard time to fulfill the requirement as they need to complete the credit hours to finish their studies. However, students still have to wait in adding their preferred SALPAT subject manually for the registration. They need to wait for hours just to get approval and not all of them are accepted for the subject requested. Piao Tiang Pao, SALPAT's lecturer, gave his view on behalf of his Mandarin class regarding this issue. Maybe we see uh, the trend of the demand. Uh. If really up to, uh, for example, if one day really up to uh, 300 to 500 students, so I think uh, CELPAC maybe will consider. Other alternative taken is that petition and reservation open for the subject requested. From CELPAC, uh, they, off, they actually they keep the, uh, uh, I mean, mainly for the graduating students. 
So I think it's a quite a uh, quite normal procedure lah. Attempted theft cases and flasher are not something new in IIUM. In this semester, more than three cases that involve female students as the victims. Now, more than 90 male students volunteered themselves to join patrolling team to serve IIUM community. The IIUM Heroes, or also known as the IIUM Patrolling Team, is an initiative made by the Students' Representative Council. This initiative is to form a team to go on a patrol around the campus during midnight. The project is meant to prevent more unwanted cases from happening again. One of them is flasher issues and also theft issues. And from these a lot of issues, we come up with this solution, which is we want to uh, secure our, our safety uh, within our community. This often happens because the lack of street light at certain areas. Dark tunnels and roads has become the hotspot for the criminal as it is the only way for the female students will use to go back to their mahala. I bring these issues to uh, OSEM, Director OSEM, Director Development, and also the, uh, to the diversity, which is there is no effective when I... When we complain, we as RC complain, there's also no alternative from them. An organization is nothing without its workers. Employees are the magic catalyst in advancing work's quality other than budging hidden talents. Quality Days, organized by IIUM Office of Institutional and Academic Quality Management to celebrate IIUM employees' achievement. With our reporter, Ahmad Bazi has the news. The event was held at IIUM Cultural Centre, ICC, for two days starting from 26 until 27 April 2017. The recognition ceremony was attended by IIUM staffs from academic and administrative units. The ceremony was graced by the President of IIUM, Tan Sri Dr. Rais Yatim, and Director of IIUM, Professor Datuk Sri Dr. Zaliha Kamaruddin. A total of 11 awards were presented to IIUM staff for their hard work and determination they put into their jobs. Among the awards were the Zaid Bin Sabit Award, the President's Budi Award, the Murabi Award, and the Ismail Al Faruqi Award. Every single award has its own criteria as to how the selection of the candidate was done. Appreciation and recognition are the major factors that motivate employees to work harder. In this quality day, it gives recognition to IIUM employees' achievement to continue to inspire others. We hope IIUM staff are eager to contribute their services to give the best for the organization. I am Ahmad Bazi, reporting for Now News Network. Event for the book lovers is back. Kuala Lumpur International Book Fair is definitely one of the major events in the global publishing calendar. It is the perfect place to get the latest books and promotion from your favourite publisher around any region. Our correspondent Nabila Abu Bakar is now at Kuala Lumpur Book Fair to get the latest updates. Hello Nabila, how about the situation there? Thank you, Atika. As you can see, the situation in Kuala Lumpur International Book Fair 2017, people started to come early in this morning, and as the organizers are giving out the free admission to the visitors, and I expected more people are coming uh, by this afternoon session. So how many estimated visitors will come? Yeah, uh, since 2013, uh, KL International Book Fair uh, uh, has recorded over 2 million visitors and uh, in this year, 2017, the organizer expected to have 2.5 million visitors. Any interesting activities? Yeah, uh, the visitors, especially the uh, book lovers, can, can visit around 950 booths uh, as to get uh, their favorite uh, books from the publishers that they like. And there are many other activities such as the seminars, uh, conventions and also the book launching. 
So can you brief the event details? Yes, uh, in KL uh, International Book Fair 2017, uh, it will be held for 10 days and um, it's starting from 28th uh, April until the 7th May 2017 um, and it took place in uh, Putrawal's Trade Centre. It also, um, uh, this event started to begin uh, uh, from 10 a.m. until 7 p.m. for weekdays. Meanwhile, for the weekends and public holidays, the event will be, will be end at uh, 9 p.m. Okay, thank you, Nabila, for the report. Yeah, thank you. And back to the studio. I are you M Theatre Month ends with the staging of collaboration charity theater between Twinkle Studio and Missy Club IIUM. The play was organized to collect funds for community service program on this upcoming June. Staged at main auditorium of IIUM, Kebayan Charity Theater was held for three days starting from 24th to 26th of April 2017. Further report with Azid Azidi. Kebayan Charity Theatre is a play about the origin of Kebayan that is said to come from the blood of nobility. Packed with the classical Malay background theme, the theatre attracts the audience with their unique storytelling concept and usage of stunning wardrobe. However, it has received negative comments from the audience due to the lack of focus on characterization and acting performances. For the actors and actresses, I would say most of them were not in character and did very awful, yeah, awful performance, yeah. This theatre has also received many comments on the social platform Twitter. Nevertheless, the director of the play realised the flaws and will strive to improve. We have to improve uh, in terms of uh, lighting, the stage management, and also about the music and as an acting as well. After three days' performances, Charity Theatre Kebayan is finally meet and end. Even though the theatre managed to grab many audiences, we hope Twinkle Production will learn from the mistake and the experience so that they can produce better theatre next time. I'm Azid Azidi, reporting for Now News Network. The annual tournament for International Pencak Silat Diputi Prime Minister Cup is just around the corner. IIUM athletes that representing Malaysia is struggling to hold the title as champion. They give full cooperation and dedication in their training towards the game. Muhammad Taufik has the report. Deputy Prime Minister Cup is an international pencak silat games that catches people's attention because the event was held at shopping complex. This year's tournament is tougher than the previous as they have to compete with other elite athletes from different countries. Malaysia team will be ready 100% before the game, uh, start to fight, uh, fight uh, for the game and for the glory and keep, uh, keep the title of overall uh, champion. It is a proud for IIUM since it has won the games last year and took the title of champion from Indonesia. Among countries that participate in these games are Korea, America, Japan, and Arab countries such as Yemen. I will try my best uh, to push the, uh, the athlete uh, to fight uh, other, to win the gold medal for, for mission. I'm Nurul Adila. And I am Siti Nur Atika. Thank you for watching Now News Network. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.